Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host, Steph, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Mexican Christmas feast. You know, those times when you go with your family and you have that beautiful comfort food plate? Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to make that. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious agua fresca. We're gonna cut time, not flavor. I removed the stems and the seeds from eight guajillo chilies. I'm also gonna be adding for spice, five chiles de arbol. I'm gonna blend the chilies with two and a half cups of chili water until smooth. Oh yeah. And boom, done. To your Instant Pot, you're gonna add four pounds of chuck roast, and the thinner and smaller the pieces, the faster it will cook, and it will get super tender in 45 minutes. Add half an onion, four garlic cloves, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Today I'm using tomato chicken bouillon. Add your chili sauce. And for those of you that don't have a high speed blender, you're gonna have to strain your chili right on in. I find that when I cook my beef in the Instant Pot, I lack some of the thickness that I like from the sauce. And in this bowl, I have four tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of maseca, which is instant corn masa. Try to mix that right here on the side with your sauce and then move your pieces. And now we're gonna pressure cook for 45 minutes and we are gonna allow for a slow pressure release. And boom, done, time to shred our beef. My beautiful sister helped me shred our beef and now I'm just gonna pour the broth right over. Place your burner on a medium high heat and you're gonna drizzle a tablespoon to two of olive oil. Add three cups of rice and you're gonna combine your rice into your oil and you're gonna allow to toast and that should take you anywhere from three to four minutes. Once your rice is nice and toasty, you're gonna add your water and make sure to follow the suggestions on your package. Add two tablespoons of tomato chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Give that a loving mix. Bring your pot up to a boil. Place the lid over your pot and continue to cook for another 15 to 18 minutes on a low heat. Our rice is beautiful, nice and fluffy like I showed you how to make before. And now I'm just gonna place my rice into my bowl. For some reason, my family goes crazy over these simple seasonings for the rice. They prefer this one over the traditional one as of lately. Place your burner on a medium high heat and add eight ounces of longaniza or you can use chorizo. Break it down and then you're gonna continue to cook for another four to six minutes. Next, you're gonna add four pieces of chopped deli ham and if you don't have deli ham, you can use four to six pieces of chopped bacon. Combine all your ingredients and allow the ham to come to temperature for another two minutes. Next, you're gonna add two chopped chipotles with adobo sauce, two chopped pickled jalapenos with one fourth of your jalapeno juice, We're gonna add six cups of freshly blended pinto beans. Place your temperature on a medium low and give all your ingredients a loving mix. Once you've combined all your ingredients, you're gonna add one cup of cheese. You can use Mexican cheese blend, cheddar. Your favorite kind of cheese will work for this recipe. And keep mixing until your cheese is nice and melted and incorporated into your beans. Once you fully combine your ingredients, you're gonna taste, and if you need to add a little bit of salt, go ahead and do that. If you want a little pepper, you can also do that. But for us, we are done. And now let's get started on our pasta salad. To your bowl, you wanna add two cups of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and you're gonna combine those ingredients. If you need to preserve your salad for a few days, go ahead and add one tablespoon of white vinegar to this combination. I've pre-cooked and cooled our pasta, and now you're gonna add that to your bowl. You can use spiral pasta, elbow pasta, whatever you have on hand, make it comfortable for your home. On this beautiful plate, I have half a chopped cabbage, one cup of peas, two shredded carrots, four chopped celery stalks, and one red bell pepper. This seems to be the winning combination that my family loves and doesn't complain. 
Combine all your ingredients and make sure that it's coated with all that delicious seasoned mayonnaise. If you like your pasta highly seasoned, I would say double the seasoning portion, including your mayonnaise. But I think this is a good starting point since you're feeding a lot of people at once. It's going to keep everybody happy. Now for the easiest part of all of these recipes, you can stay here and you can squeeze your fresh limes or you can buy two of these limeade frozen concentrates that are going to make it a lot easier and it tastes just like Mexican lemonade. And if you're going to buy some of these, buy two or three, obviously depending on the quantity that you're going to be making. Um, but I find that two for this container is just the perfect amount. I'm going to be using eight cups of water for two concentrate containers. Fully dissolve your concentrate into your water. And you guys already know what's coming next. A lot of ice. I'm going to decorate our agua fresca with some lemon. You can use lime, but I find that lime will turn this bitter quickly. So if you have a choice, go with lemon. And boom, done. It's my pleasure to serve you a holiday plate. It wouldn't be a Mexican holiday plate if you didn't have some paper plates. And boom, done. Who's ready for a delicious bite? And happy and loving holidays to you. Salud. Salud, mija. A comer cedillo. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. If you like this recipe, make sure to give us a thumbs up, leave us your comments, and if you happen to make these recipes, tag us on your social media. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!